For people with developmental disabilities, finding work can be one of the toughest challenges. And when there is work, it's often no more demanding or satisfying than filling boxes with screws. But in the Englewood neighborhood, an unusual partnership has created interesting jobs and a beautiful product. Here's Eddie Aruza. There are dolphins, there are elephants, and there are chimpanzees. Those are the patterns being stitched into a line of baby blankets in this workshop in Chicago's Englewood neighborhood. They're called many hands blankies, and in addition to keeping your baby warm, they're providing jobs for a group of people chronically underemployed. Unemployment among people with disabilities has hovered at around 70 to 75 percent for decades. So we here are trying to find new ways of engaging people so that they can have the self-esteem that comes with a meaningful job. Today, there are 12 people making the baby blankets. And if blankie sales continue to climb, they plan to hire more workers. But why baby blankets? To answer that, we must go 15 miles away to Oak Park and the home workshop of Bill Kerr and Weeks Ringle. Bill and Weeks are quilt makers. They call their company Fun Quilts. But they don't make the kind of quilt you casually throw on a bed. Their quilts sell in galleries for thousands of dollars. A couple years ago, Bill was watching his young daughter at a neighborhood pool when a man sat down next to him. And he asked me, what do you do? And I said, I'm a quilt maker. And he said, I've been looking for a quilt maker. Now, that's not the reaction you usually get. He told me about this organization, CARC, that had automated quilting machinery and was looking for quilt makers to design a product that they could make. We had a quilting machine, but no product. And then it was through Fun Quilts that we were, they designed the product and were willing to adapt their design so that people with disabilities um, could, could make it. CARC is an organization for people with developmental disabilities. It may have had the quilting machine, but quilt making requires a lot of skill. So, what kind of product could the CARC clients make that would actually sell? It was like a puzzle. We knew that they had a certain set of skills, and we knew that they had some machinery, and we knew what the market was interested in, mm -hmm. and we knew the price point that it had to be, and it was just a matter of figuring out where all those things converged to make some product that they could make that would then be marketable. And the answer involved using the quilting machine in a new way. We couldn't have elaborately pieced quilts, but we could use the automated machinery to do interesting quilting patterns. Normally, these machines just add stitching called quilting that is not very noticeable. It just holds the layers of fabric together. But on the many hands blankies, the stitching became the main decoration. And they really worked well from a manufacturing point of view because you simplified the process. We took advantage of the skills that their workers have. My name is Edward Scott, and I'm doing um, dolphins. The blankets are made of two layers of flannel. When the stitching is done, the flannel is cut down to baby blanket size, 30 by 40 inches. At the same time, other workers prepare the binding, which is then sewn around the edge. This is Pearl. Pearl is our binder. She sews on the binding to the edge of the blankie, which is um, uh, an important step. It's the finishing part. Sewing the binding requires some complicated folding. Pearl says she's figured out a way to practice the folding at home. It, uh, you fold gum wrapper like this. Making the many hands blankies is very different from the kind of work that is often available for people with developmental disabilities. It's an ongoing job. The other tends to be subcontract work, which kind of comes in and goes out. It might be the more traditional things you see uh, in terms of packaging. Um, or shrink wrapping. Here, this is a collaboration with a private company. They are selling the blankies and we're making them. It tends to be the same work every day, so you're, you know, you're building a real skill set. There's a better place to work here, because we can't work like, like other people, like, uh, uh, like post office, we can't do that. And, uh, and we can't do uh, a lot of things like other folks. That's when why we had a job here. I put the um, the tags and I tied a knot, 
And that's my that's my new job. You do other things here too? Yeah, that machine. It always showed me how to do that machine too. I didn't know how to do it before. I was excited. <laughs> For Chicago Tonight, I'm Eddie Aruza. The Many Hands Baby Blankets are sold in boutiques across the country and on the Fun Quilts website. There's a link to it on our website, WTTW.com.